of uh, the building lobbying organization, but of course it doesn't even matter. The point is to get it back to where it was or to make it stricter, and I'm going to ask the question again. Have you contacted one of the legislators who is pro your side? No. Okay, that's where you go. That's where you okay. do the research. That's where you find out. You call the legislative office. First of all, you start with your legislator because they're going to talk to you, especially uh, with um, uh, your disability and you let whoever it is. I mean, they, they have people on staff that are very, that, that are on the thing. They, 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 they like constituents. They want to hear. So you can get on the phone. Uh, you can make an appointment. Make sure you're wearing your braces. Make sure they clank very loudly when you're walking in the door. They do. They do. They do. They do. If you want that. And uh, I just start going. I sound like a horse. I sound like a horse. I sound like a horse. So you have to neigh. Uh, and I mean, all of it. Do what you can. I trip a couple of times if it helps. And, and what you absolutely want to do is get that it's your legislature, and if you don't have your legislator who is doing that, there probably is one or two or three or half a dozen legislators who are into that, who represent the disabled world or are disabled or have family that's disabled, and you go there and you're going to find out from your senator or assembly person who that is. This is political. This is not a lawsuit. This is absolutely political. Hi, Monica. Hi, Monica. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Um, my brother passed away. I'll be sure it's wild. And it seems to me something has a spike. Okay, you're, Monica, you're making... Monica, I'm, I'm losing you. Your phone is getting really weird. Okay. Uh, let's try it again. Speak slower. Okay. A lot of diction. <laughs> okay, my brother didn't pay us some tax for okay. that many years, but the only income that he really had was like some stock. And it is fair, fair now. So this year, this is still too fast. Should I get a, a special tax? No, you need, no, you need any accountant. And, uh, and I don't know whether he even files or doesn't file uh, because he's kind of dead. And uh, the IRS, uh, they may leave people alone, even taxes are owed, Monica. And clearly, if you made money, a lot of it, yeah, there's uh, a lot of a lot of tax owed. But not going back 20 years, they can only go back three years. Uh, but you need an accountant to look at it and will tell you, yeah, we file or don't file. Because one of the things about the IRS, man, they are understaffed like crazy. And, uh, in, in, yeah, and it's, uh, your chances of getting audited are pretty slim, but that's where you need an accountant. And uh, just get a referral from an accountant. Whatever you do, don't go to those accountants that advertise on TV uh, or advertise on billboards. You have to ask people, uh, do you have a good accountant? Because uh, this is more complicated than filling out a, uh, a simple form. This is the handle on the law. I'm Brian Berman, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. The Texas Supreme Court has blocked a lower court order that some abortion clinics in the state were using to resume abortions. Pope Francis is urging the leaders of Congo and South Sudan to turn a page and live in peace in a video message that he recorded before he had to cancel a trip to the region. And the PSA says travel is booming with more people screened yesterday than there were on the same day in 2019 before the pandemic. We're going to take a look at some trouble on the 10 next. Do you want to sell your house or condo? Real fast, real easy, you call sellers event. You're going to buy your home after this for cash and they'll make you a cash offer within 24 hours. Even if your home is a total fixer-upper, which is a nice phrase uh, for a dump. Or it's in perfect condition. With those advantage, there are these advantages. No real fees or commissions, no escrow fees, no repairs needed, no open houses. That's right, no strangers walking through your home. No banks, no termite inspections, no hassle. They are not a low-ball company. The goal is to get you the same amount of money that you would get the traditional way without all the hassle and problems. So with seller's advantage, you choose when you want to close. They will advance you up to $20,000 before the close for moving expenses. And if you want to sell your home fast and easy and get an as-is cash offer within 24 hours, you call Sellers Advantage. 888-321-AS-IS. Call 888-321-AS-IS. That's 888-321-AS-IS. Or go to SellersAdvantage.com. DR number is 0196165. Taking a look at KFI traffic, we've got a crash on the 10 in Thousand Palms. That's westbound just before Cook Street. It's blocking the right lane. Fire crews are on scene and it looks like a tow truck is as well. It's going to be a heavy ride though from Washington. Coast of Mesa on the 405 southbound at the 73. There's still a wreck there blocking the right lane of the connector to the 73 south. 
Say it's a slow crawl from Fairview. And you're seeing delays on the 101 southbound in Hollywood as you approach Melrose Avenue. That stays busy until you get to the 110. KFI and the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Pedro Moreno. This report is sponsored by Discover. If you're a valued customer, you deserve a simple gesture of appreciation from your credit card company. And that's why Discover matches all of the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year. Discover. Exceptionally common sense. Learn more at discover.com slash math. Limitations apply. You're always using your personal information for just about everything, especially when you're online. And with all that information floating around out there, uh, it can make the internet a practical goldmine for identity thieves to steal your identity. Well, now it's easy to protect yourself with LifeLock. This is what I do. LifeLock by Norton. LifeLock monitors your information and alerts you to potential identity threats, and there's lots of them out there. And if you're a victim of identity theft, a dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix your problem. Identity thieves have had it way too easy for far too long. Now it's your turn. No one can prevent all ID theft to monitor every transaction at every business, but save up to 25% off your first year with LifeLock. Call 800-LIFELOCK, use the promo code handle, 800-LIFELOCK, promo code handle, or visit lifelock.com, promo code handle, 25% off your first year, LifeLock. The uncertainty in the world is leading to market volatility. My friends at Legacy Precious Metals are here to walk you through why gold is the way forward through these unsteady times. Legacy Precious Metals can advise you how to roll your existing retirement account into a gold IRA and provide steps to take should you want to hold physical metals in your home. Call Legacy Precious Metals at 866-806-3646. That's 866-806-3646. Or download your free investor's guide at LegacyPMInvestments.com. Given that you're all on the court, make sure you have the right partner by your side. Highland Leg Cramp Quick Dissolve Tablet. America's number one leg cramp relief solution for over 10 years. No water needed, no stomach upset, just bad defective relief. Also available in tablets. Highland Leg Cramp, the healthy competition and beyond. Available at Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS. Claims based on traditional homeopathic practice, not accepted medical evidence, not FDA evaluated. Erwin, oh, doesn't that patriotic music fill you with pride? No, Larry, it fills me with dread. Why? Because I know what's coming next. You crazy shit brief independent sales discount. But Erwin, Sitting Street's independent sales are a chance to help people celebrate living and sleeping in the best country in the world. Right, Dad. So during Sitting Street's independent sale, you can save up to $1,000 on select mattresses from Sealy, CDS, and Kingsdown. $1,000 off? Thanks, Drew. I already had your dad driving me nuts, so now I've got it in stereo. We're even taking up to $500 off two of the best sleep brands, Temper Breeze mattresses and Purple Sleep Systems. I'm turning purple. Plus, with your good credit, pay zero for and financing for 24 months with your minimum monthly payment. All I can say is you're killing me, Larry, and you're not helping either, Drew. So this independent holiday, trust your sleep to sit and sleep. And remember, sit and sleep will beat anyone's advertised price on your mattress is free! <laughs> Contractor license 102379 When we hook up Digital Duncan, playtime is over. Digital Duncan doesn't guess. Digital Duncan knows what's wrong. When your AC breaks down, call Jeff. GOE DPL. We'll keep your cool, but it's hard to spell. Hey, SoCal. Going out for a drink? I'm going to tell you, Darren Cavanoke of 1 800 No Cut. Better have your seatbelts on, your front license plate attached, and your registration handy. Don't give them a reason. 1 800 No Cut. Because no one looks good in handcuffs. Unless they're into that sort of thing. 1 800 No Cut. If your business has five or more employees and you manage to survive COVID, you're eligible to receive a payroll tax rebate of $26,000 per employee. And this is not a loan, it's yours. The challenge is getting your hands on it. How do you cut through the red tape? How does your business get the money? Go to GetRefunds.com. They're specialists in this little known payroll tax refund program and they do all the work. No charge up front. They share a percentage of the cash they get for you. Businesses of all types can qualify, including those who took PPP money, nonprofits, even those that had increases in sales. They got my business a six-figure refund, and their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars back. Go to GetRefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, they do the rest. GetRefunds.com, GetRefunds.com. 
Gas prices, food prices, oxygen prices. The cost of living is getting insane. A vacation is probably out of the question. Right. Wrong. KFI has your inflation vacation with $1,000 every weekday from 9 a.m. through 6 p.m. Just looking for the keyword, then enter it at kfiam640.com slash cash. No texting, just winning. Powered by Sweet Game Active and Attorney. If you're heard that active and winning is everything, call the winning attorney at Sweet Game. 800 500 5200 or sweetgames.com. Listen to win $1,000 every hour, weekdays from 9 a.m. through 6 p.m. And inflation vacation on KFI AM640. More stimulating talk. If you're injured and need a lawyer, go to handleonthelaw.com. KFI AM640. More stimulating talk. Welcome back to Handle on the Law. Hey Susan, welcome to Handle on the Law. Hi Bill, I have filed a breach of contract lawsuit involving a real estate matter. The case status conference is coming up next month. Defense has asked for a bench trial, but it has also thrown out the idea of mediation. I've been a court reporter for 40 years and I've done many arbitrations, but I do not understand enough about mediation. Okay. So, uh, one of my first question is, is mediation binding? No, absolutely not. It's okay. never, uh, it's never binding. So, uh, my problem knowing about arbitration uh, is that it, I, I always felt as a reporter doing them that the, the decisions the arbitrator would hand down were basically splitting the baby. Yeah, that's pretty much what the arbitrators do. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so let me ask this before we get into it, Susan. Uh, the breach of contract that uh, you're alleging the real estate uh, agent engaged in, what, what happened? Okay, so it's not against the real estate agent. It involves a, a, a veterinary hospital that I own that the tenants never maintained under the triple net lease. And then when the lease ended, they stayed, they didn't move out. I had to evict them. And All right. There four F okay, so I filed a breach of contract to for all the rent and the attorney's fees, everything they didn't pay, and all of the tens of thousands of dollars of maintenance that I had to do right. to put these properties, uh, you know, in rentable condition. So that's what I filed the fees for. Okay, all right, just curious. For. All right. So, uh, you're right about arbitrators, they normally do split the baby, uh, that's the way they work, and none of the rules of evidence apply. So let me tell you about mediation. All it is, is the mediator saying, hey, uh, are you okay with this? Are you okay with that? Uh, sometimes it splits the baby, but you don't have to. What it does, is, number one, give you a chance uh, to see how adamant the other side is. Are they willing to talk? Are they not? You have to go to trial. It is not binding at all. What you're going to do is just get information about the other side and see where they're at. Now, a mediator costs you, but usually you split the cost of mediation. I don't think there's any downside to mediation because it's not binding in the least. You walk away. I've been in mediation. Matter of fact, I'm involved right now. I'm suing someone for breach of contract, exactly what you're talking about. In uh, my business, we had a contract uh, with some people, and they breached, and I'm suing, and they asked for mediation, and I, we said, fine. My partner and I said, fine. We sat down. Uh, they came up with a figure, and we said, no. No, not interested. Okay. And we are going to a bank trial. That's exactly what we're doing. Let's go to trial. Okay, so in my involvement in the past with arbitration is that a lot of attorney's fees are wrapped up while they shuffle arbitrators right. trying to, to agree on it. Right. Is now that, that going to be the case yeah, with yeah. the mediation? Yes, it is. That's one of the downsides. You're going to be paying your attorney for the mediation. Oh, I know I'm going to pay for them to conduct, be at the mediation. Right. But how about all the time until they pick a mediator? Well, that's nothing. They don't get involved with that. Mediation, uh, mediators are picked immediately. It takes two seconds. I'm a fan of mediation because you got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Uh, you may agree 
on it. He may come and yell. The other side may came up with half of uh, the money. I mean, at mediation, well, we got zero at mediation. Uh, now, uh, we had a mandatory settlement conference with the judge. Same thing as mediation. And they started, yeah. to, the other side started to move up and uh, started to offer us uh, some money, some real money. And we said no. 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 I have a safe status coming up next month, and I don't know what I'm going to find out. Okay, you're going to have the. You're going to have the. Here's what's going to happen. The judge is going to try to shove it down your down your throat. He's going to try to shove a case down your throat and split the baby. That's what a judge is going to do. The judge in a okay. mandatory settlement conference, uh, a, and this is after mediation, when you say no, uh, and you're ignoring uh, arbitration, you're not going that route. You're going uh, uh, via the courts. The judge is going to do the same thing, and he's going to tell you what a crappy case you have, and then uh, go to the other side and talk to them about what a crappy case they have, and everybody's better off settling, and at the mediation, you don't right. usually don't even sit together, you're in different rooms. That's how it works. Okay. All right? So you feel it's a good investment. I think so. I think so. Uh, John. Hello, John. Welcome to Handle on the Law. Hello, Bill. I have a living trust for my yeah. son is the beneficiary. The trust has a online treasury bill account. How does he take over when I pass away? Uh, what ends up happening is uh, you change uh, the beneficiary under the treasury. Uh, like when you sell a treasury note, uh, yeah, it doesn't say in your name, and you sold it. So uh, that becomes easy. I think he just, uh, I think he just files an affidavit for the death of you and the trust. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't know if the government changes it. Uh, I don't know if it uh, stays in your name and then when it's cashed in, uh, the documentation showing that your son owns it uh, and the change has been made. But there's going to be no issue, John. Uh, if you die, it's going to be his. I see, and I also would, a uh, bank account would be the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or you can put it on the bank account and you can put them as a beneficiary right now. And you know, the treasury bill may very well have you as a beneficiary. I, I don't know of... Yes, it, is, it does. Oh, I, okay. have it, I have it signed as a beneficiary. Oh, then you're fine. Then all you, then all you have to do is uh, walk in and show uh, your death certificate. How much are, how much are, sure. yeah, how much are we talking about, John? Oh, 200,000. Yeah, he's probably going to kill you. You know that, John. Well, I'm 97, so I'm not too far away from dying now. You, by the way, you sound good for 97. i got to be impressed. Oh, okay? you really, well, thank you. Yeah. John, you know what? 97. If I'm 97 and I'm as sharp as you, I'll be one happy camper. We'll be right back. This is Handle on the Law. I'm Brian Rubin, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Officials in Long Beach say there are 3,296 homeless people living in their city. The annual count was done in February and shows a 22% jump in people living in camps or on the street and a 380% increase in those living in a vehicle. Those in the study said they were homeless because of issues like money, mental illness, and domestic abuse. The last count was done in 2020. There was no count last year because of the pandemic. Researchers at UC Riverside say buying a home is out of reach for more than two-thirds of families that live in the Inland Empire. UC Riverside's Tanner Osmond says home prices in the region are up nearly 20% from last year to $544,000. We effectively uh, have a limited supply which has been pushing up uh, house prices. Osmond says building permits are up in the area which will combat rising prices, but he says it will be a while for those permits to become actual construction. A woman from Coachella Valley has been sentenced to more than eight years in prison for an insurance scheme with her then-doctor husband. She and her husband defrauded insurers out of $44 million for unnecessary cosmetic surgery. Linda Morrow was sentenced to pay more than $14 million in restitution yesterday. Her husband, David M. Morrow, was extradited from Israel in 2020 and is currently serving a 20-year prison sentence. Aerosmith's lead singer is reportedly no longer in rehab. TMZ says Steven Tyler was only supposed to spend 30 days in a rehab facility, but he actually stayed for longer than that. He had relapsed following foot surgery. In May, it was announced that Tyler would go to rehab and the band canceled its upcoming residency at the Park MGM in Las Vegas so Tyler could focus on his recovery. Not dreaming on anymore. Now taking a look at KFI traffic, we've got a crash on the 5 in Mujal. 
That's in between the 14 and Cowgrove Boulevard. All lanes still shut down until further notice is a wreck, so you're seeing a heavy rise from the 405 and traffic being diverted onto the 14 northbound. South LA on the 110 northbound, you'll see some slowing as you approach Lawson. It's going to stay pretty slow until you get to the 10. And then Thousand Palms on the 10 westbound before Cook Street. There's a crash there still blocking the right lane. That's causing some heavy delays from Washington. KFI in the sky helps keep you there faster on Pedro Moreno. The one store whole house water filtration system I have at home is the best system I've ever had. And I've had lots of them over the years. The system connects directly to your plumbing from the outside. So you turn on any tap in your house and you get highly filtered, great tasting water. It removes chlorine, chloramines, other harsh chemicals. It reduces problems caused by hard water. And if you buy bottled water, you can forget that. You're bathing, you're cleaning, you're cooking, doing your clothes, your dishes with bottled quality water. And there's no maintenance of any kind ever. No filters to change, no salt to add. Once it's in, you're done. You're good to go. Life Source Water uses a proprietary technology, and until July 4th, Life Source Water will pay your sales tax. Call 800-803-2696. 800-803-2696. Visit lifesourcewater.com. Life Source Water tastes and feel the difference. Stuff my weather from KFI, low clouds and fog by the coast, sunny inland, mid-60s below 70s at the beaches, mid-70s below 80s in metro LA and low seas, low to mid-80s in the inland valleys, upper 80s below 90s in the IE, temperatures cooling down slightly tomorrow, staying a little bit cooler through the Independence Day holiday. We lead local, live from the KFI, 24-hour newsroom, I'm Brian Bruna. Homeowners, when was the last time you had a termite inspection? If it's been over three years, then you need to call the Bug Man. Your home is your biggest investment and you need to protect it. We all carry home insurance, but termites do more damage than fire, earthquake, and other natural disasters combined. Right now is swarming season. Most likely, termites are eating your home. Even as I speak, the Bug Man can get rid of all your termites without tenting and repair any damage that they have caused. Here is a special offer. The Bug Man is offering offering free termite inspection. Call today and get a free termite inspection next week. You heard right. Call today before 4 p.m. and the termite inspection is free. On your cell phone, dial pound 250 and say, The Bug Man. On your cell phone, dial pound 250 and say, The Bug Man. If you call right now, you'll also receive a free one-year maintenance program valued at $325 with a completed inspection and service. For your free termite inspection, dial pound 250 and say, The Bug Man. This is Jacob and Ronnie. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. You're always using your personal information for just about everything, especially when you're online. And with all that information floating around out there, uh, it can make the internet a practical gold mine for identity thieves to steal your identity. Well, now it's easy to protect yourself with LifeLock. This is what I do. LifeLock by Norton. LifeLock monitors your information and alerts you to potential identity threats, and there's lots of them out there. And if you're a victim of identity theft, a dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix your problem. Identity thieves have had it way too easy for far too long. Now it's your turn. No one can prevent all ID theft to monitor every transaction at every business, but save up to 25% off your first year with LifeLock. Call 800-LIFELOCK, use the promo code handle, 800-LIFELOCK, promo code handle, or visit lifelock.com, promo code handle, 25% off your first year, LifeLock. KFI AM 640. The news. What it means. Why it matters. And welcome back to Handle on the Law. Marginal legal advice. Hey Barbara, welcome to Handle on the Law. Thank you for taking my call and sure. thank you for welcoming me. I have kind of a complicated case and I guess the crux of the matter is that a 98-year-old woman has been conned by a not yet caught but kind of uh, known con man uh, and, and the, the, he's made, uh, he's had her sign a trust. She's been on an Alzheimer's uh, oh, medication. Okay, have you yeah. taken money already from her? 
while he's practically taking her home, home and he's going to leave her disabled 73 year old daughter okay. penniless. Okay. 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 And okay. she was caretaker for 16 okay. years. Barbara, first of all, the first thing you do is you have to call the DA. Call the uh, right. district, district attorney's he's office. Done that. Okay, and they're, yeah. not, and they're not moving on it? Right, and she called several lawyers, and then there's some lawyers even in LA, we're in Orange County, and nobody will take Yeah, because there's no money, because Barbara, there's no money for them. There's no money for right. lawyers. They would have to do it basically for free, and this can get complicated. So it's going to have to be the district attorney's office. And if the district attorney's office doesn't jump on it, then uh, there, you, you have to find a lawyer. And there are some organizations out there that do help the er, er, elderly people. Uh, and right. they're specifically um, there. One of them, and I know of, is an organization sort of a mid-Wilshire area in Los Angeles, and it's called Bet. It's, uh, it's a Hebrew name, although they're non-denominational. They go all over the place. It was just started by a bunch of uh, a bunch of Jews uh, who just jumped into this. Uh, and it's B-E-T, Bet, okay. and then Stedek okay. is P-Z-E-D-E-K. I think that's how you spell that. Thing. P Z E D E K. Yeah, D C D Z E D E K. P. Exactly. Okay, we're not going to go into that very much. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, so I hope she looks it up. Wayne! Hi, Wayne! Welcome to Handle on the Law. Hey, a quick question on, uh, I'm, I'm married my second wife, and she's, uh, I'm her second husband. We each have a, a son, and I was wondering if I can have an agreement between the four of us that would uh, clearly state our intentions as far as my wife's estate and my estate and how we Plan on having our son. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, but, uh, but I'll tell you what you don't need is uh, as the funds uh, sign off because they have nothing to do with it. Uh, they don't own the property unless you can put some stuff in their name. Uh, so they're out of the picture. Now it's between you and your wife. You have assets, she has assets. Uh, so you have a will uh, where you can leave uh, your property if you die to your wife, your kids, and any in any combination, any percentage you want. Uh, she can do the same thing with her property. You can have a trust where the uh, property goes into it, and you have a trustee who then distributes the trust. Uh, X goes to her, for example, my trust. My trust says that uh, anything uh, that my wife and I have together, if I die, she gets it all uh, to determine, and then the uh, then the kids uh, get it, and and uh, same thing happens to her. If she dies, I control or I get all the money that we have together. And then I determine uh, how much money the kids get. I can do whatever I want with the trust, uh, but it's uh, it's but that's just the way it goes. I fully plan on screwing my kids. I mean, there's no question they're not going to see a dime, uh, but they don't know they don't know that yet. Uh, so I plan on spending that. <laughs> uh, yeah. How much? Uh, let me ask you this: How much money are we talking about between the two of you? Uh, well, between two of us, it's about 400000 uh, It's worth talking uh, to a uh, trust and estate lawyer on this one. Uh, it's going right. to a couple thousand dollars to, to do a decent trust, but it's worth it because there's enough money there. And uh, it's, yeah, just yes, 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 go to a trust and estate lawyer. Absolutely. And Zach. Hello, Zach. Welcome to Handle on the Law. Hi, Bill. Yes. God, I love you. Of course, I love you. Yes, you do. Yes, okay. what can I do for you? Okay, anyway, uh, my son, he was 29 on the 105 freeway, where the 605 is. A car cut him off. The bumpkin who laid down a semi truck ran him over, tailed him. Oh, oh, um, oh. How, I just how, got him for the night. Zach, how old was he? He was 29. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I raised him without a mother, so that's kind of what's that. Yeah. I, I got tough to deal with him when he was two. Oh. Anyway, anyway, um, a guy hit him, knocked him off a, a tree company, tree, tree, a tree company truck, ran him over, killed him. I've been waiting for the report. I've worked with the Highway Patrol almost every day. It's been almost 200 days. I got the report the other day. They assigned 100% fault for the guy that hit him. That day, the guy's insurance company, I called them, and they said, we're willing to um, offer you $15,000. For my son's girlfriend had a baby since he's been dead. 
So um, they said the money would go to the baby when she turns 18. And I said, 15 grand? you got to be kidding okay. me. But yeah, let's, all right, let's talk about it a little bit. The reason they offer you $15,000 is probably that's the insurance limit. Uh, yeah, that, that's what it was. If it's the limit, then the insurance company uh, only has to pay because that's the limit. Now, the driver uh, and the company is responsible for anything above that. Uh, now, okay. the driver doesn't have any money, and the company, let's say the company is upside down. Uh, it's not a profitable company. Uh, if it doesn't have, if it only has fifteen thousand dollars of liability insurance, and it's a company, uh, you're talking about a company that can't be doing very well uh, because uh, okay. they're getting very limited, limited, almost non-existent insurance. Uh, yeah. This company is um, all over the United States. Okay, then, then, so then, then, so okay. then you go, then you take it uh, and you go after the company way beyond the $15,000 and you start filing the lawsuits and you're, uh, uh, you're yeah, I'm assuming you've talked to a personal injury attorney, correct? I've talked to a couple, but here's the deal. I went to the tree company that ran him over um, uh, five days after it happened and I tried to talk to the owner. They called the police on me. And hired a lawyer who sent me all these threatening letters saying, do not talk to our people. I said, I want to know what happened to my son. Yeah, don't worry. None of that is relevant. Okay? That, okay. You're never going to talk okay. to them again. You're never going to talk to them again. Ever. Okay. Uh, it's going to be the lawyers who are going to be dealing with this. So uh, go to handleonthelaw.com. Uh, and, okay, and, and, okay. and, and, and ask those, because I'm telling you, the, the lawyers on handleonthelaw.com, they will talk to you. They'll jump on this. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good luck to you. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, that minimum insurance uh, here in California is fifteen thirty, fifteen thousand dollars for a single incident, which this was, uh, thirty thousand dollars for multiple uh, plaintiffs uh, that's been split up, and it's been that way for fifty years or forty years. They've never increased that. Can you imagine? Uh, it's, uh, you would think it'd be at least fifty, a hundred. Uh, 25, 50, uh, it's kind of bizarre. I mean, my policy is I have 250, 500 uh, for my cars, and then I have an umbrella policy on top of that. Uh, so, it, yeah, uh, that's weird. Uh, but if there's money there, if it's, a, if it's a national company, 